Good morning. I have no doubts about this one. The EU globalists are now in an extreme rush to make things happen. I will tell you about it and uh, about uh, Spain and Tommy Robinson. But first, a quick update on the Swedish government, which we still don't have. It's a circus. It's quite entertaining, really. These people are mad. All right, so this is what happens. There were four parties who agreed we should have a socialist Green Party government in Sweden, but they needed the vote from a fifth party, the Communist Party. And they didn't even talk to them. Yeah. And, uh, and they even put it in writing that the Communist Party should have no influence whatsoever. Just imagine the arrogance. So, yesterday we got the reaction from the Communist Party. They were so pissed off. And uh, they said, no, we will not accept this. So now the socialist and the communist leaders will talk. I think they are good friends. So, um, and to see if they can find some arrangement. And maybe they will. But I know this much. If they make this government, it's not going to last for long. You know, they will start fighting very soon. Because these parties are so different. It's the centre party and the liberals and then the communists and the greens. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. So it's po very possible we will have a new election quite soon here in Sweden. We'll see. All right, the EU globalists. Now, I don't like this expression at all. But the EU glo globalists are going all in now. They are. Uh, according to the European Commission, just listen to this, this is beautiful. EU tax laws do not reach its, its full potential. And it is now time to reevaluate the traditional view of sovereignty. <laughs> so during this week, the Commission will present the proposal to include so called qualified majority voting for all EU tax rules by 2020. 2020 again. Interesting. It's very possible that the United Nations will decide on a world government in 2020. And now also this. As a first step, the Commission proposes that qualified majority voting be extended to areas not linked to national tax issues. The second step uh, concerns tax areas such as health, climate change or environmental protection. And finally, the Commission wants to scrap the right of veto for initiatives aimed at ensuring fair and competitive taxation within the EU internal market. This step may be used to apply a common tax base for companies. So, you see what's happening here. So, they want to tax everybody, basically. And they want to be in control of taxation. Of course, this is where the power is. So, they are going for it. Yeah. Okay, they, apparently this, they say that this proposal doesn't have a chance to go through. But you know how they work, the Commission. They make some small changes, they talk, and, and then they get them to vote again and again and again until they get what they want. And some argue that this will be used by nationalists and populists in the EU elections this summer. Yeah, you bet. So this is the argument against it. Oh, this could be used by the populists. <laughs> No, they have no problem with the proposal, <laughs> really. This is what they want. Assholes. That's what you are. Hmm. Yeah, it's pissing me off, still, surprisingly. But I do really get pissed off about this. Alright, here's an interesting story 
from Spain. On December 31st, the open arms ship transported 311 migrants to Spain. Open arms ship. Interesting name, isn't it? So this is one of the ships who transport refugees, or as I would call them, invaders, to Europe. So first they went to Malta and it, then Italy, but they were denied docking. So they came to Spain. And after refueling and changing crew, the ship was to leave for a new mission on January 8th. But the port authorities in Barcelona prevented this, saying that this ship violates international rules on sea rescue. Interesting, isn't it? So, if I understand it correctly, the Spanish government is all pro open borders flooding Europe with refugees. But uh, the port authorities prevented this. Maybe this is a case of disobedience. Elite politicians, they do what they want, but then the people respond somehow. Uh, maybe this is the case. Yeah. Finally, Tommy Robinson, he's coming to Australia in a few weeks, together with Gavin McInnes and Milo. Yeah, this is very good. I love this, this interchange, this communication, yeah. people visiting each other. It's very good. So I had to tell you about it. All right, that's all.